Uh, I'm running some errands right now after I did my uh, Halloween tour of my houses in the neighborhood. I actually have these window mailers, which are very important for actors. You can use it for a lot of things. One of the things I'm using it for, um, you actually put your picture. See, I also picked up some headshots right here. This is my picture. You guys see it as my YouTube icon. Um, this is my headshot I use when I go into auditions. The really great thing, like I just, I was at home, you know, an hour ago. And I was like, why am I just sitting? Right now, I'm on hold or avail for like three different projects, which means that I'm like one of the top choices for certain brands that want me to be in their commercial or ads, whatever. I'm on like on hold for like three of them. They could call me at any minute and say, hey man, you booked this job, um, you know, and that's money. But I was sitting there, I was like, why am I just waiting for a call? Like, this is really stupid. Like, I need to get up and do something, you know? So I got up and I need to be proactive about my career because this is what I want, right? So I have to take these pictures. I put them in here. I also have head um, resumes I've printed out. I have to attach the resumes, you can see right there, to the back of these pictures. And then I have to mail them out to specific casting directors that I'm targeting that I think would like me on their shows. Like I'm gonna send some to the casting director that does Fresh Off The Boat or Dr. Ken, because those are like Asian predominant shows, which I think, you know, they might need a teenage guy character for it. So they might call me in, so you never know. So I'm gonna send out to casting directors and to other agents that I don't have yet, and maybe I'll get a call. Um, my teacher always says outflow equals inflow. So when I produce something and send it out into the world, you don't know which way it's gonna come back to you, but it always comes back. Whether it's coming back from a casting director calling me in for an audition or someone calling me in for um, just something random, it's just there's always going to be that energy you're pushing out and energy is always going to come in this way or this way. You don't know which way it's going to come in. So I'm going to go home and take care of these and make sure I have, they're ready to mail out tomorrow. All right, guys, I am home now after my errands. Um, see, this is the website that you use. It's called Casting About, right? So you go right here and see, look. This is an example of a casting director you'd find. And that's his address. And that's how you know where to send things. CFP Casting, Scott David. Have some music to keep you pumped up while you're doing this admin stuff. So, you know, I can't play that much. It's about to be copyright now. All right, so I have my 10 for this week written now. Now I just gotta get some stamps. Gotta stamp these boys up. All right, guys, another thing you always need as an actor is tons of stamps. Tons of stamps. It might seem old fashioned or whatever, but that makes it better because if you think about it, if you think a ton of actors think that it's old fashioned to send letters, you better hope that they're thinking the same thing so they don't send it. So you send it, so you're ahead of the game, and then people will get these physical copies of your pictures and be like, whoa, cool, cool, cool. But I'm guaranteeing you everyone's sending pictures, so you need to just send it, email it, tweet it, Skype it, do whatever you can do to get in their pants. Okay, not in their pants, but into that room. Goal is to at least try to do, you know, um, five to 10 a week and just get them out to different casting directors and agents. The next part of doing this is, uh, so I have all these stamped and almost ready to go. So all these are all nice, beautifully stamped, cleanly stamped um, with forever stamps. Forever stamps are stamps that will stay the same amount forever. That's why they're called forever stamps. See, but I have all these headshots, wait. Let me, let me show you guys right now what I got here. I have these headshots. Bam, 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 bam. Bottom of my headshots is my uh, my name and stuff. Get a little mini stapler and I staple this. And All right, guys. So basically, I'm gonna take one of these. They call window cases. And I take one of my headshots um, and then I stick it into the window case. So when the people get the mail, you'd be like, oh, who's this guy? Oh my gosh, he looks like I don't know, but let's 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 call him in. And then that's what I hope to happen is that they go, oh wow. And they call me in after looking at the headshots. So that's one. Now I gotta do like ten more. Alright guys, so they're all packaged and pretty and lots of them are ready to go now. So looking at these, I'm like, yeah, these are good, I look good, whatever. I'm like, how can I make these pop just a little bit more, you know? Like, oh, this is where your creativity gets to come in. And my thoughts just I, just, I was like, why don't I get some Sharpies? I got some right here. I have a gold and silver one. 
Maybe if I have a red one, that might help too, but I might just write like a phrase, like, I don't know, I want to cause an effect. Okay. I'm gonna take these, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna put this in no. the, above my bed. I'm go putting this above my bed. bed. No. Am I stealing so when I wake up? I, I need to send that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so pick a phrase. It looks really plain to me, so I'm gonna pick a phrase and then we'll figure out what we wanna do. All right guys, so I wrote on some and I left some blank. Specifically because I wanted to write on some because you literally have 30 seconds or less. You have like five seconds of them seeing your picture and seeing what's on the outside before they throw it away. And that's if like your picture doesn't captivate them, it goes directly in the trash. Like, eh, right? So I have those two seconds of them looking at it. So why not take advantage of all this real estate right here? So, you know, I have right here cause and effect. This one's going to fresh off the boat and Dr. Ken. Um, if you know, they're predominantly Asian shows, so they might be looking for an Asian person, but just so they, if they didn't know, on the front it's gonna be like, Cambodian, Chinese, stage train, bam! So they have that in their head, right, just from looking at this, like, what? Stage, oh my, wow, okay. You know, or they could like look at my picture, like they'll see my picture, like, I like it, and then they see all the little things on the outside, boom, done, like that, in their head, and they can't get it out, and now they have to call me in. So, I'm gonna send these out. Try to send out five a week if I can. I'm gonna send all these out tomorrow and just keep doing it because outflow equals inflow. Bam! Other tip is to get a paper towel and get it a little wet, right? You're gonna actually use that to seal all your envelopes because you're gonna run out of saliva if you don't wanna seal all these. So, yeah, you gotta take this and seal all your envelopes. Seal, seal, seal. And that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, so this was a trick my dad taught me to use this, this wet thing because. One, it's really nasty, like you don't know who's been touching this, like I've been touching this this whole time, like you don't know who's been touching it, so you don't want to just lick it. So it's more hygienic just to, you know, get a paper towel and go like this and just wet it. I'm gonna get like another backspin on it. Like, thanks dad, I'm AIDS free. All right guys, here they are, all right here. See, a lot of you may be thinking like, but mom, it doesn't look professional, the right on the sides, you know, like, you know, you, well, they're gonna get a hundred of them that look just like this, just blank. So I'd rather take a risk and just do it. I don't care about looking professional, I want their attention and I demand it. And that's how I'm gonna do it. This is gonna get me in the room. And that's how you do it. AMC. Guys, we're here watching Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. With all my friends. Right there. Yeah. Right there. First, I yeah. love Ghost I love it, I love horror movies. I'm excited. So, I was on set for this about like, that was a whole year ago, dang. Alright guys, we're in the theater now. We're about to get scared, right? Yeah. Alright, we just got out of the movie. What would you rate it? Uh, five? Out of? Fifty? Oh jeez. No, five out of ten. That was all five decent. Out of ten. Good yeah. scares. Five out of ten. I give it like a four. Just the scare factor was there, but the story was alright. That was a review. But yeah, we're gonna get food now. I'm so hungry. Nobody's 